closest I've got to making a smoothie like the nut job that I get in Nomad, the Nomad coffee shop in Enfield across the street. This is the closest I've got. The tea is, or the difference up to now has been I've been putting too much milk into it, I'm putting almond milk into it and the natural or the Greek yogurt whereas this one is much much thicker. So it's a good few Flav and Ortlitz in this one though as well, so it's definitely taking it up and it's pretty much like the nut job in Enfield, but it's very nice. We were in Dublin there yesterday and I met, myself and Sally met with my son Paddy and his girlfriend who live coincidentally on Whitworth Road from Condra. But that's actually one of the streets where I used to deliver fuel when I started in business first back in 1986 with a little shop there at Hart's Corner. So yesterday we were actually going to meet up and have a few drinks first at Hedigan's pub there at Hart's Corner and then go into town and have a bite to eat which we did in an Indian restaurant but the the um I decided I was going to make a vlog out of it just because, you know, that particular area and that particular corner is of such significance for me and have such great memories of it and so on. So I did, I created, or I brought my camera and I actually got a lot of footage and I'm going to make a vlog out of it. So that's what I have to do now, I have to put that together into some sort of coherent video which I'll publish on the channel here on YouTube. Not sure exactly when it'll be up but... I will publish it and um, it's as much for me as for anybody else but I think people might enjoy it as well you know. I was getting down to the bus there yesterday evening <clears throat> on the quays in Dublin at around uh, the Halfpenny Bridge. I was getting to 115 with my wife to come home. It was the Mullingar bus but just as I was handing over the ticket to the guy, the driver, he says, um, you're on TikTok are you? And I said I am, yeah. He said I was watching your video there this morning. I said, he said, the video about the um, the good experience you had in Dublin during the week or whatever. He said, I'm the friendliest bus driver in Dublin. I'm the friendliest bus driver in Bus Aaron. You might do a TikTok about me, will you? I said, oh, sure, Mike, yeah. But the remarkable thing about it is, and it's truly remarkable in my view, I was wearing a wax jacket and a woolly hat. It was half nine on a Saturday evening. I had a few pints. Myself and my wife were coming home from Dublin just minding their own business, tired, coming home, head down, and this fella recognised me. And the video to which he referred was a TikTok that I did about a very good experience I had in Dublin. When I went to do my CPD during the week, you'll find that on TikTok, about 
I, how I like Dublin or I've always loved Dublin and uh, a fella helping me there to get the correct direction so go in the right direction but the remarkable thing that struck me was how the bus driver recognised me because I looked completely different I was wearing as I say a woolly hat uh, my face was covered with chocolate ice cream because uh, I was eating ice cream before that I was wearing a wax jacket like zipped up to my neck and yet he, he caught me. The point is, TikTok is incredibly powerful. And I noticed when I was on the bus as well, traveling to Dublin and coming from it and watching the kids getting on or the students getting on there, Kilcock and, and Minutes and so on, they're all on TikTok. They're all on the, on the bus, on their phones, flicking through TikTok and you can see it. It's an incredibly powerful platform. And any small business owner that's failing to take advantage of it is making a huge mistake. My vlog finished there earlier on. The just edited and uh, obviously put together the one where I went back to Hearts Corner for the first time in in a long, long time, many, many years. And Hearts Corner just is obviously where I started out in business along with my brother Pat way back in nineteen eighty six in December nineteen eighty six. So this is December twenty twenty three. So. Uh, we went to Dublin yesterday, I had a good old day, but I made a vlog about it. You might be interested in having a look at it and find it entertaining or interesting or whatever. And I'll have it on my YouTube channel at some stage. It is, uh, it's done and it's ready and I'm happy enough with it. So it's being uploaded there to YouTube at the moment. <laughs> that I baked yesterday it is a brown bread with figs and mixed nuts so I discovered figs there recently and I really like them so I have figs and mixed nuts in this brown bread and it's very nice Oh, yeah, we'll get it on the rocks. I can't imagine Larry there, so I'm going to try. 